What is up, mother chuckers? Rip Trippers back at you today with another vein video. This is actually a build wick video. You guys wanted it, you gonna get it. The Zeus X RTA build wick video. Here we go. First things first, guys, you're gonna need you a Zeus X RTA. Next thing you're gonna need is your favorite coils. Now, in this video, I'm using a couple of fused Claptons. I'll post a link down in the description where you can get these bad boys. These are the Ohm Science ones. Next thing you're gonna need is your favorite cotton. Today, I'm gonna be using some Firebolt. Best cotton in the world. I'll post a link down in the description where you can get it. Of course, you're gonna need you a pair of sharp scissors to cut that cotton. And last but certainly, not least you're gonna need you a pair of wire cutters all right so now on to the steps for this build wick tutorial first of all you want to cut your leads for your coils whichever you're using a fuse claptons or your favorite coils doesn't matter the leads need to be this length and i would cut them but they already came pre-cut which is awesome but from where this coil ends to here it's about six millimeter in length from the back of the coil all the way to the front of the leads it's about 10 millimeter in length again guys all these leads right here you guys see need to be cut equally as possible now if you don't want to measure the leads out like i did you could use one of these coily jobs now if you don't have one i'll post a link down in the description to where you can get one but if you have to use one of these things, use it on number five. And if you don't know how to use one, let me show you. So what we have right here is a staggered fuse clasping from the same company that I got the other coils from. Personally, I like the fuse clasping better than these, but these are good. This is just an example I wanted to show you. But let me show you how to do it, okay? So you find number five. Where is it at? There she is, number five. And at each number, they have four holes, and that's to cut two coils at once. But since I'm going to go ahead and show you how to cut one coil lead today, I'm just going to go ahead and use two of the holes. Pop it in there like so, and then you just clip it. You want to make sure that your cutters are flush with the back of this mother chugging tool, and you just clip them. Voila. Now they're never going to be perfect, but they're going to be pretty darn close in length. Next step, you're going to need the Zeus X RTA deck section. Okay, you got the positive connection here, the negative connection here, front to back connections. You're going to insert each coil like this and like this. And then once we've inserted the coils, we're going to tighten down the connections. And if you look underneath here, you got space. That space for the excess leads to slide down. Or that space is so we can get in the clippers and cut the excess leads. That's what I mean. But you guys ready for me to pop in, screw in, and clip? Let's do it. Go ahead and pop one coil in, push it down all the way like that. Pop the other coil in, push it down all the way like that. That, and they should be about equal. Next step, what we're gonna wanna do is just hold them down. Hold them down and screw in the connections. Now all we gotta do is straighten out these coils and clip the leads. So yeah, as you guys can see, there's space in between the coils. That's what you want. You do not want these coils touching. If they touch, it's gonna short out. So there's gotta be space and you wanna make sure that each coil is on the edge of each side of the block. So I'm gonna pull this to this side just a little bit more. Pull this sucker out, pop this sucker in, pull this to this side a little bit more. Looks freaking good right there, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Now what we gotta do is glow these coils out. Now, if you have hotspot issues with clapping coils, you could space the coils. Space them beforehand before you install them. Just letting you know. I'll post a link down in the description if you wanna see me space coils. Yeah, I got a clapping tutorial showing you guys how to space the coils so you don't have any hotspots. You could do it that way if you want. All right, so next step, as you guys can see at the bottom, you got that space like I showed you before and the leads, okay? We gotta cut the leads because those leads are touching the base. You don't want those leads touching the base, okay? If you leave them like this, it's gonna short out. So we gotta cut those leads. We don't have to cut them all the way up to the top. You just wanna cut them to where it's not touching the base. But I love how this RTA gives you that option to get in there with your freaking clippers and cut the leads. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in, we're gonna clip the leads just a little bit. Turn around, get these other two. Last one. All right, so they're clipped. Now this is a crucial step, guys. After you clip those leads with this RTA, you wanna go wash it off. You wanna pop this mother chucker underneath the sink and wash off any excess shards that may be stuck in there, lingering in there. Excess shards are dangerous. They can also cause shorts. So stick this bad boy underneath the sink, wash it off, and you'll be good to go. Once we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and glow this mother chucker from the inside out. Make sure the coils are glowing evenly. And if you never glow your coils from the inside out, all you gotta do is drop the waters on the device you have it on. Like for example, this is between a 0.11 and a 0.14 on build. It starts at 0.11, it's gonna rise up to about 0.1. 0.13, 0.14, maybe 0.15. But yeah, I'm gonna start low in the wattage, 20 watts, and I'm gonna gradually build up. Start low, pulse her a little bit, brush her a little bit, get them glowing nice and evenly, and this is a pretty long process because these coils are touching, guys. I mean, you're gonna have hot spots at first. You gotta work those hot spots out, and that's what I'm gonna be doing. So bear with me, watch this. I'm gonna fast forward through, get them glowing evenly, and then I'll show you the wicking portion of this puppy chucker. And the way I used to glow out my coils is take a pair of pliers, but I don't do that anymore. Because if you use pliers, you're going to mess up the outside of each coil. You don't need pliers. It's going to take a longer process, but you don't need the pliers. So you could pinch your coils using pliers and then brush them and pinch them and brush them and pinch them. But again, I don't do that. That's not part of my process anymore. And check that out. They're not glowing that bad. I mean, this side's got a few hot spots. Brush her a little bit. Yeah, it's looking nice. 
Real nice. Now all we got to do is let it cool down a little bit, and we're going to wicker. Yeah, buddy. Cotton time. Going to go ahead and take me some of this firebolt, insert in one of these coils. God, I love this firebolt, man. Whenever you wick it, your cotton's got to fit snug. It's got to fill out that space, and it's something you feel. Once you get the feeling down, you'll know what I'm talking about. I can't really show you on camera. All I can do is explain it to the best of my ability. But you can see this, right? I'm able to pull it, right? But you can tell that it's snuggy-duggy. And I'll repeat the same process on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these wicktails out of the way, just like so, and then insert the other one. Next step, guys, is we got to clip these wicktails. Now, what I love about this firebolt cotton is, is you don't have to fluff it out. It's already fluffy duffy. I never had to thin this cotton out, guys. Yeah, I've cut it at angles, but never had to thin it. So when I clip the wicktails for this RTA, I'm going to clip it around right there, about the edge of the base. And that's on each side. And it goes past a little bit, but you know what? I don't mind that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here, pull this together. So instead of me thinning this wick out, I'm just going to cut it. Cut it and drop it in there. And when I cut it, I'm going to cut it at an angle like so. And every time I cut it, I'm going to drop in those wick slots. See how it fits. And you'll know. If you're having to forcefully push it through there, that's too tight. But if it slides through there easily and you got a little bit of space, typically that is the right way to do it. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to tuck her in there. And I can feel it is a little bit forceful. A little bit too tight. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a little bit. Cut the length down a little bit. About right there. Cut it like that. Over the years, I've become a cotton stylist. Oh, yeah. That's what we want right there. Oh, yes. And you can even go a little bit longer. But when we juice this up, it's going to lengthen the cotton a little bit. I find with this RTA, you can make the cotton go all the way down to the bottom of the base. It's okay if you do that with this device. I mean, she's going to wick a treat, man. And if you look at this, I can easily get my scissors in here. That's what you want. Now, here's the deal. It's able to be a little bit looser over here because the way that I pulled the wick through the coils is on the much tighter side. Really tight through the coils, fluffy duffy in here. But all I'm going to do on this side is repeat the exact same thing, guys. Bam! Next step, all I'm going to do is just juice it up a little bit, mold it a little bit, pop the tank together, and fill her up. But as you guys can see it's nice and fluffy duffy on both sides and whenever i'm juicing my wick up i never want to flatten it you still want to stay fluffy as possible i just kind of comb over it all right so once i've juiced her up a little bit this is where i get in with my scissors and kind of just push her down a little bit i wouldn't say push her but comb her down Again, you don't want to flatten that cotton out. You basically want to make sure that she's in the slots and not going anywhere. And combing her down like this lengthens the cotton down through those wick slots even more. That's about as good as it gets right there, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, next step, what we're going to want to do is gently place her in there. Gently. You want to feel for those notches to fall into place. There we go. And the reason why you want to pop it in there gently is because you do not want that cotton pulling out of the wick slots. That's why I want my wicks going in those wick slots, I would say halfway, at least halfway down to the base. Just my airflow to my preferred. And we ready to go, go, go with this Mochoco. Yeah, Billy. So I got the Zeus X RTA sitting on this Boyer Vapor Chaser Saga Player mod. Okay, I may have a full review coming on this. It's a good mod. It's nothing great. I only review the best stuff right here, guys. But yeah, airflow for this puppy chugger is a little bit past halfway, a little bit past a quarter of the way, right in between halfway and a quarter of the way. <laughs> the dual fuse class in here is reading 0.140 on vapor at 50 watts. And the juice I'm rocking in here is something called Peaky Blinders. If you've never had Peaky Blinders, you are missing out. You know what Peaky Blinders taste like to me? Like a Cinnabon. Cinnabon cinnamon roll. Just like it. Faux flippin' tastic. And guess where you can get this Peaky Blinders? You know it. Vapetrick.com. V A P E T R I K. Use code V I P, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10% off everything. Yeah, buddy, 10% off of hardware, too. Check it out. Vapetrick.com. Oh, yeah, she's already starting to bubble, too. I hadn't even taken a hit. She's bubbling and bubbling and bubbling away. I've wicked this thing probably 30 different times, guys. 30 freaking times. And it just it just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting. It does guzzle. But that's a good thing, man. You want an RTA to guzzle. Yeah, you're going to be going through a lot of juice, and that may be a con for some of you guys. But but who wants muted flavor and dry hits? You ain't gonna ever get that with this device. Unless you wick it totally wrong. You're stuffing it in there. I mean, that's the only way you're gonna get dry hits. You wick this mother chucker like I just showed you, and you gonna be rocking in vape heaven, baby. For a top airflow RTA, it's gonna be vape heaven. You can take long hits, the vapor is just thick, dense, super satisfying. The flavor is for a top airflow RTA, wow. Just make sure you guys follow my lead, the way I wicked it, the way I built it, all the stuff that I used. I mean, you don't have to use all the stuff I used, but if you do, you're gonna get the same type of vape experience that I'm getting right now. This 
see how long that hit was? Not even close to a muted flavor, full on flavor every time. So yeah, baby, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, all the stuff in this video, I'll post a link down in the description where you can get it. The Zeus X RTA, the Fireball Cotton, the Coils, the Juice, Peaky Blinders, everything in this video, links down in the description. All right, this is Rip Chippers, and remember, smoking is dead. Baby, it's the future, and the future is foul. Ah,